Okay, everybody, 20 minutes after 9 on May 1st. Uh, today is my wedding anniversary. We're celebrating 12 years of blissful marriage. Um, I'm chuckling not because of, of uh, the, the wedding anniversary, but I've been struggling with this video now for half an hour. Um, okay, so we're in a trend run up. We're looking at uh, the um, trading lane here. We're expecting the market you know, on a bull run to trade up much, much higher, about 2.06 to about 2.07. Uh, if we get a bear move to the downside, uh, more than likely down into this 9600 area. Uh, so we are looking at long-term trend up, mid-term trend is up, short-term trend is up, so we're looking to take breaks to the upside. Uh, you can see here that the market is continually breaking resistance to the upside, which is a bullish sign. Uh, all of our moving averages are pointed up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, we are coming into this resistance zone here. Uh, the market has managed to poke above it, but we've seen in the past that uh, the market has had a little bit of a difficult time uh, getting over that. So here's the evening star. Uh, you're looking at overhead resistance very, very close, only about 23, 24 pips away. Uh, that would be to this high here. The prior high here uh, of the flag uh, is about 60 pips away. Keep in mind as well that this daily uh, flag is targeting... There it is, 2.0163 uh, for the termination of the bull move to the upside on a breakout. So let's go down to the four-hour bar. You can see here um, the market has managed to push up. Uh, there was some, there were some economic announcements here for the UK. Uh, you know, it was pretty much a non-event. There was uh, a pennant pattern which started to form here. Uh, it was w way too late in, in the session to trade. Let's go down to the hourly bar so we can take a look at it. Uh, here you can see the, uh, I had to get perspective there. Here you can see <clears throat> there's the pennant. Uh, it formed up. There was a second point on the top. That was 7 o'clock Eastern. Remember, uh, the sweet spot for the British pound uh, is between 4 a.m. and about 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, this thing formed up starting at about 7 p.m., which is uh, right at the edge of that dead man's or that uh, dead zone, excuse me, uh, where there's just not a lot going on. It's very risky to take momentum trades there because, uh, you know, just simply put, there's not a lot of momentum. Uh, you know, there's enough opportunity outside of, uh, you know, in 24 hours, you don't need to start forcing stuff. So, anyway, here's the breakout. Uh, I'm looking for a push probably into uh, the prior high, which would come right here into about 2.01. I'm looking for a retrace back into the 30s in order to go long. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that uh, might form up to, to look like. Here would be the projected high up here at about 2100, retrace down here to about 2.0029. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for. Again, you know, I'm looking for a conservative entry point. Basically, what that would amount to would be a breakout and then a retest of the line. So I want to see how the market's reacting here at the line, uh, but then fully expecting the market to get down here to the 618 retracement. So that's it. We're going to have to wait and see what forms up in the next couple of hours.